and welcome back to part six of Murder on Eridanos. We had quite the exciting episode, you know, trying to be killed and all with uh, the, the, the wasp mosquitoes, the worst creation ever to ever have crossed anyone's drunken stupor into a profitable business. <sighs> but now we're lost in the maze. I mean, I know where the exit is, probably, I still. Yeah, I should let you get back to Junlei. Feel bad being halfway across the universe. Or the the galaxy? Galaxy. I don't know. Either way, I decided to sport this outfit so you guys could see the mascot in its full glory with not a leech in its neck and dead and all that stuff. And we've, of course, got the slugger there. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. Anyways, so where we have to go next is nowhere. We're looking for the purple berry. No, I think the only one we need, I don't know. I feel like we have them all, but uh, we'll see if there's a crate back here like they said. Uh, looks like it. So, we got to make our way through some M&As. So let's do that. What's this? Uh, is this a, this way. That seems like a trap. Got it, heads down. I like traps. Whoa! Here Okay. Oops. Wrong weapon. Uh, yes. So why are there combat drones in here? Oh no, I'm probably lost already, aren't I? Crap. No, we'll just go straight back there. What's this? Spectrum Vodka Blue. Oh, we don't have that one. Okay, we have all eight now. Sweet, we're gonna get a new gun, guys. But not before we go and get lost. And I wanna go through the this way thing. Oh, and I didn't even use the cool hammer that I should learn the name of before I go and use it. Pile driver. That's much better. You know, I wonder if we can fast travel out of here. That would be so cheeky. Oh boy. Oh, I don't do good with mazes, guys. Oh, um, let's use this little guy. It's kind of got some droop to it. Sorry, you were standing. I mean, it was clear what I was doing, Felix. I guess I'm lucky this thing fires at all. So we're after the golden tickets, the original spectrum. Okay, well, let's keep going down this rabbit hole. Hmm. Lead me to nowhere. Good. That's satisfying. Now let's go this way. Uh, those guys look happy to see me. Oh, I'm going to get lost trying to find these guys. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, let's not do that. You guys keep having fun. Can I activate their thing? Ooh! Everyone all right? Good job, guys. Wow, leeches everywhere. So when they get multiple leeches, is that what happens? They, they turn into basically marauders or and or crazy peeps? Oh man, this is bad. Nope. What? Will that find them? No, it did not. They went to the right. I shot for Vod. Oh, Felix's head, the back of it. It's all good. Hmm. All right, I'm thoroughly lost, guys. Whoa. 
rupturing host. So, the whole episode could maybe just lost in here. Part. The whole part. Part five. So, let's go this way first. Oh my gosh. Why do they do this to me? Whoa. What's this? <laughs> that was fun. Whoa. Discrepancy detected nearby. Well, let's figure it out. Uh-oh. Analysis. Ground appears to be scattered with purpleberry seedlings. This particular strain is of a variety proprietary to Rissos and should not be in common use. I noticed the glass bottle containing some of the seedlings half buried in the dirt. As I turn it over, I find a label on the bottom that reads, Property of Carter Reynolds, Botanist. Looks like the person who took the original didn't hide their tracks so well. Hmm. Someone got it. That's not satisfying, but we did get a unique weapon. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can make it out of here. Seems how uh, we found the doodad, or the lack thereof. Just gonna make sure. Oh, wow, I almost walked off without that. Pick up Purpleberry Puzzle Hedges Completion Certificate. Wow, I said that real bad. Congratulations, Explorer. You've reached the center of the Purpleberry per Puzzle Hedges. This certificate entitles you to a 5% discount on certain Rizzo's products at select Rizzo's vending machines. Wow. Note that promise of discount is non-binding. Any failure to find Rizzo's vending machines accepting said discounts are the responsibility of the holder, not Rizzo's corporation. Any attempts to force a discount or dispute the grounds of this certificate discount will be prosecuted to the full extent of the lethal law. Huh. Display case plaque. Greetings and congratulations, visitor. You found the way to the center of the Purpleberry Puzzle Hedges and have earned this one of a kind boon the right to look upon one of a kind Rizzo's product, free of charge. We encourage you to wonder at the at what Spectrum Original might taste like as you keep at the at least three feet away from the display case at all times. Okay. Ah. Uh. So, it's, yeah, okay. Well, all right. Let's see if we can get out of here, kids. Make sure our way weapons are reloaded. I feel like we didn't explore, so I am completely lost. There's a this way sign. Let's follow the this way sign. Eat my pile driver. Ow. Aww. Try not to hit our body. I'm not doing a good job. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm kind of a mess with this thing. That was fun. Why are these garbage... Why did they compact these garbage cubes and put them right here? Ooh, four stores. Sisty chips. And a pack of smokes to top it off. Yum. Okay, well... Made it through another section. I'll be impressed if we can find our way out of here. Some cider. Oh, boy. Well, I'll just keep running at a ridiculously fast pace until we find something. Something to kill or some way out of here. Hey, well, that's something. So, is this the way back? Or is this the way back? Nobody knows. Well, we've killed... Hey, look, here we go. Hey, Selena. Let's talk about that spectrum. Great day for a starship ride, is it not? Keep your voice down. Never know who might be listening. There's always someone listening. Like me. So about that prize you're looking for. I'm afraid I haven't made much headway on my own. Admittedly, I'm a little wary of all the explosions I keep hearing. 
Yeah, I took care of that. Um, oh, I guess I can't tell her it's gone. Think fast. Never know when someone oh. will come out of a bush. Bolt her pistol at the ready. I see. Uh, I didn't find the prize in the maze, but I did find a lead. Better than a burning barrel filled with Spectrum original bottles, I suppose. Uh -huh. Follow your lead. Keep an eye out for fakes. Oh, okay. Follow my nose. Well, all right. So that means if we just go... Nope. Yep. Hello, guy. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. You said you work for Forest Mills? I do indeed. Specifically, I'm their general counsel. Forest Mills, if you somehow don't know, owns Tile, Wentworth, Dock Rocket, and 24-7 Furniture. We're something of a big deal. Of course you are. And you also said you're a lawyer? What the heck are you doing all the way out here, man? When the going gets tough, the lawyers start going. What? Some farther than others. I've been a junior lawyer for coming up on 20 years now. And quite frankly, I'm getting old. Hopefully uh. there will be enough legal kindling out here to fuel my firm for a while longer. And if I find that kindling, I stand to finally get my raise. Well, you keep plugging along. The original wasn't at the center of the puzzle hedges, but I might know where to find it. You do? Hmm. I should have expected that things wouldn't be as easy as they looked. Well, let me know if you find any other information. I sure will. Okay, well, we made it out. Holy crap, I didn't expect that. Now, we must go get this new gun. The end of the spectrum. Oh. You know what, before we do that, let's go ask the Nut Hut vendor about spe Spectrum Vodka. Because, you know, she's great. Haunts my dreams and or nightmares. Oh, their smiles. They're just... They're just horrible. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oops. Wrong gun. Don't tell me it's footsteps again. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Don't mind if I take this stuff off your hands, sir. So, how is he the only one left? Must be his smile. It's scary. Hey, Sydney. Thanks for visiting Rizzo's Purpleberry Orchards, where insects and workers alike are always busy bees. Now I'd love to get you something, maybe a couple somethings. Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Gosh, that neck thing is just... Oh, God. Have you sold any Spectrum from the storage warehouse shipment? Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. <laughs> I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RR&D Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. Okay, well, I'll check her inventory anyways. So she has... Oh, just red, yellow, and that's it. Okay, well. Also, we got Captain Robin's spine. That's what we found instead. I, I mean, we got that instead of a Spectrum bottle. Captain Lancelot's bravery and martial expertise were legendary, as was his twin brother's cowardice and ineptitude. Uh, when Lance Lance's enemies began running away for fear of being flayed by his blade, he decided to name his weapon after his brother. Oh! Burn. Well, thank you for your time. Now, let's skedaddle over here. Ooh, here we go. Oh, uh, if only I could drive myself. Here it is. Moment of truth. Excuse me. Open case. All spectrum flavors detected. Opening case. Whoa. Awesome. 
Rizzo's makes heavy duty firearms? Boss, you gotta let me try. Oh, I will. I will. Right after I try it. Let's take a look. Spectrum Gatling, manufacturer unknown. Science weapon developed in Rizzo's research and development district labs. Uh, this minigun is both inspired and powered by Rizzo Spectrum's vodka. Shot some vod. <laughs> shoot some vodka shots and taste the pain bow. <laughs> Okay, that's great. Let's, uh... Hmm. Take off Phineas for a while. Finn's gun. Uh, there is a uh, workbench somewhere around here. Well, anyways, I went all the way through here and couldn't find the workbench. Probably walked right past it two or three times, knowing myself. Anyways, we'll tinker with it later. Let's go outside. We'll find something to shoot. Now! Journal. Let's see here. We have gained quite a few quests and haven't tackled much of them. So, the Orchard Tower is processing. Yeah, we need to find this. Oh, that's here. In this little location. The map struggles real hard. Well, let's go over there. And, you know, maybe give this thing a shot. Because that's a layered joke. Because it's also alcohol. Ah, and a gun. I slay me. Oh. Oh. Wow, we missed this. What do we got here? Oh, I wanted to use my new gun. This console is 95% non-functional. Remaining 5% functionality stems from display reading console non-functional. <laughs> Cause of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. Let's have ourselves a taste. <laughs> you know you're liable to get sick doing that. It's how I figure things out. It's super sugary uh, with a sweet tang of purple berry and a bunch of other tropical flavors all mixed together. It meshes well with a faint flavor of oil. Well, let's do a chemical analysis. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners number 35, number 49, number 240, number 322, number 314, and many, many, many others. Thank you, Amplifier. Uh, let's take a look at this console here. It looks like several of the electrical panels were removed, then fastened back into place. Poorly. Hmm. I have a feeling this has something to do with our intern. Why? I don't know. Her story doesn't seem to add up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it all. I love stuff. Eh. Oh, okay. So that's it. Let's go to the next location. If I can find my way out of this non-maze. Oh, let's reload our weapons. Weapons reloaded. Okay, so we have a marker to talk to her. Shall we have a talk a doodle do to the order cool or 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 dist or chardist orchardist? I don't know. Let's see. Before I do that, make sure I don't end up. Question the intern is optional, so we need to talk to the intern first. I almost screwed up, guys. Dang. I'm slipping in purple berry punch. All these plosives must be great for post Harrison. I bet he's loving it. All right, we already talked to that. Ah, see, my suspicions were correct. Let's talk. Back again, eh? I knew you couldn't resist my charms for long. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which case, I probably won't forget a second time. Yeah, I think you've forgotten that like four times now. Uh, I found a strange substance on the processing console. 
uh, that have something to do with you? Well, maybe. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine diagnostics. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. Uh-huh. This is why you should only ever carry one set of clothes. Ah. Hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping track of all your belongings. Uh-huh. So did you dump the drink before or after you removed the console's control panel? How did you notice? I... The diagnostic normally takes hours, and that's only if humidity's low. I wanted to take the initiative to try and make it faster. Law's alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards, but with all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. Okay, I mean, I believe you. There is no harm in trying to make things better. I, well, I, when I say that, I mean there's lots of harm. You, lots of people are dead, but I'll talk to your boss for you. Wow, thank you so, so much. You do this for me, and I'll make sure to do whatever I can to make things better. That was real generous of you. Thanks. It was only the lives of all the employees. There's the workbench. Did I see it? Oh, my gosh. No, it was just a terminal, and I got excited. <sighs> Will I ever find a workbench? Okay. Map. So we've explored all the little doodads here. I think we managed to miss a key card, though, because we hacked our way through. But whatever. There's a workbench. Um, Let's go talk to Hathaway. Uh, This way. Wow, sorry about the dizzy dizziness. You know, when I say I've searched everywhere, did I search from this way? That was cool. Yes, this is the platform where we discovered the Dissident Queen 2. Is that correct? If I say it with a question, does it make me wrong? Why can't I keep it? Turds. Okay. And we searched that already. Let's move on. Yeah. Unlucky groundskeeper. <gasps> is this the guy? This is the guy. The distant queen chapter one. Halcyon Helen battles a lingering foe in a seedy bar. Halcyon Helen and Typhon Tim spoke in quiet tones about their next co course of action, their voices soft beneath the din of the bar. The duo had just finished the last of their paperwork on Helen's latest job. Filing precise reports always raised her spirits. The trails led us here, and I suspect it will lead us no further. Soon we will find the source of the dissidents' monsters, said Helen, a characteristic grin on her face. Let's hope your hunch is correct, Tim murmured, for I suspect their agents will not be will not be far behind us. As if brought by Tim's suspicion, a frightful voice suddenly thundered throughout the broom. Near the door loomed a giant blood-stained man, looking for all his worth like he had fought his way through a Manta Queen's den. It was Maximilian Mercer, well-feared dissident stooge, and he held two Spacer's Choice Lice pistols in his greasy hands. No doubt he was the only one to die that day. So this is the unlucky groundskeeper. Wow. He's just right here. He's right here. Right here, everybody. He didn't get far. Okay. Well, anyways... Did I search that platform? Yes. So this is just south of that platform. I say south, but I don't know direction. Okay, let's not fall off the side of the planet. Ah, <sighs> well, that tidies up everything in my short-term memory. Let's go talk to Hathaway. Ooh, you know what? First, just want to talk to this guy. I just want to talk to him. Jacob, why does he have a frenzied... You see that icon? Whoa, easy now. A sweetest hello to you again, Orchard's visitor. Have you tried Rizzo's Purpleberry Bunch? Our soft, sour candy shell surrounds a sweet purpleberry-flavored center. Suck it. Chew it. 
You can do it. <laughs> Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. You are just absolutely terrifying. Um, let's see here. Well, I wasn't able to tell him about it. Let's move on. I found the unlucky groundskeeper, and I couldn't even tell him about it. I had to see that mug again for no reason. Let's put this away. Hello, foes, friends. You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? I mean, not that every single step of the way I wasn't uh, trying to be killed. So, you know, uh, I completed my investigation. All right. Let's hear the details. Okay, there was a drink spilled over the processing console, shorting it out. A drink? I ain't ever heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Right, and an herbicide was mixed in the fertilizer, which ended up killing the saplings. Ha! Knew Slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. I mean, yeah, definitely. Also, I took care of the roaming exterminator, Automex. Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. So what were the fine details of the sabotage, anyhow? You're were Slug's lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspkitos? You're worried that Slug is trying to mess with your livelihood? Of course. And what better way to do that than by targeting our pollenizers? They'd be a hell of a pain to kill manually. But if you set the mechanicals to do it... In your delusional fantasy, the waspkitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. Is there a way to manually initialize, initiate the pollinization cycle? Well, yes. It's possible to manually start and end cycles in Hive Control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non-Rizzo's personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? Yeah, so Anna Summers caused your problems, but she didn't do it on purpose. Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But now that I think about it, that's why she'd be a perfect saboteur. I'll deal with her later. Right now, we of the Orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal, but at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is... agitating. Well, Rizzo's will have some bits to spare after the brown unveiling. You could pay then, with interest. Hmm. Never like paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, slug boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. Your intern confessed to being inept. She honestly seemed to just want to help. Even if I were inclined to believe you, that's some damn severe incompetence you're talking about. I still wouldn't want someone like that working the orchards. 
Perhaps you could be of use to each other? What the hell are you proposing? Let her burn the orchards down while I stand behind her and applaud? We ain't got nothing to exchange. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but the intern's an earnest worker. Uh, I bet she could do an excellent job with your guidance. She wants to help, does she? You know what? I'll call your bluff. She can keep at it with close supervision, but if she screws up even once, she's out. Use your pay, with a little extra for getting to the bottom of things. It's gonna be real interesting in the orchards for the foreseeable future. Thanks, I guess. All right. What about you? So, our situation is finally resolved. At the end of the day, it's almost amazing how easily you were able to solve both of our issues. Shame you aren't living in Byzantium. Could have been an inter-corporate diplomat. But at the moment, I'm more than pleased to take advantage of your considerable skill. Thanks for ending this nightmare, Inspector. No problem, Clyde. It's what I do, I guess, because I keep doing it. Well, I'm glad. I was a little worried at first. Uh, I didn't know if I'd be able to save the intern's butt, but uh, I'm going to dart over there and see if I can talk to her real quick and go from there. Anna. Nope. Anna. I got a message from my boss, and it wasn't pack your bags and get the hell off the planetoid. I get the funny feeling I've got you to thank for that. Mr. Hathaway said he knew about all my screw-ups across the orchards. I was afeard he was readying the axe, but instead he said I could still work here with his supervision. He sounded ready to blow a blood vessel or two, so I guess I'll have to really earn my keep now. Thanks for sticking your neck out for me. You and Aridonos won't regret it. I hope not. Please, please stay away from anything that has to do with any other body. Because you're deadly. Well, I, I mean, that's nice. Put a little bow on that. Now let's try this thing out. I haven't got to try it out yet. And I'm not going to get to, am I? Because we're going to go to where we're supposed to be. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Journal first. Oh, yeah, we completed a thing. Okay, investigate the botanical operations. Evan was invited. I would like to get to that one. So let's see where that goes, because I like tackling the side quest first. So let's have faster travel over uh, here, if I can get it to what? Uh, 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 Woo, okay, that was tough. Let's find Evan's trail. Whip this puppy out. Maybe it can help me. Is this the botanical doodad? Uh, botanical operations. Cool. Let's go in the hole. Oh, uh, Felix. Okay. I mean, that works. Is this the entrance to a vault? Gonna steal. Excuse me. Pardon. Whoa. Uh, slug bruiser? Hello? Ah, beautiful. Okay, that's better. I tinkered it up, so maybe it'll hit a little harder. Okay, we've got a note here. Ooh, don't see it. Let's read it. Work assignment list. A slug employee schedule under C. Crucy Purple Berry Orchards and Connector Complex. Someone has scratched out the name and replaced it with Evan O'Connell's. All right. Ooh. Wow, this place is crazy. Can I get in this? I can. Hello. Why, of course. I'll teach you someday, maybe. If I don't fly the ship into a planet. I mean a sun. That definitely won't happen, right? Definitely. Okay. Ooh, we got a terminal. Trying to quickly loot. 
so this went to the other side. Okay, and where does that go? Back out into the colonial. What do we got here? View lockdown alert. Alert to all sublight underground agents. Until further notice, the Eridanos atmospheric complex is under lockdown. No person is permitted to arrive or depart from the complex without explicit permission from Mr. Kincannon. Uh, messages. Uh, under control. Uh, crew quarters terminal, Vargas. Subject under control. Hey, Miss Vargas. Uh, wanted to let you know that everything is under control. Situation's normal, just small weapons malfunction and a slight gas container. Combustion. Workplace hazard, really. Wow. Maybe if you're actually, if you actually trained us instead of spending all your time shouting, uh, your overinflated head off, slug wouldn't be, need to be by itself a new wall. Oh well. L live and learn, right? Uh, someone not part of your crew. <laughs> Okay, that's good. To any one of my idiot maintenance crew who is still alive and not actively on fire, I've gotten a dozen reports about an explosion in the generator room. Last I recall, I sent a team of whole heads down to down there to a routine inspection. Please, please tell me you remembered to shut down the void forsaken generator before you started jabbing around in there. Tell me at least you at least remembered that the most basic of safety procedure uh, because if you forgot, again, I swear on my grandmother's grave, I will find out. And then when I find you, and if, and I do mean if, any of your organs are still functioning after I've finished with you, I'll rip them out and sell them to the nearest Spratworth vendor, which you will make maybe half a dent in the monetary damages you have caused on Slug's behalf. Crap. Lily Vargas, she's pretty wound pretty tight. Uh, <laughs> she needs to take a day off. Woof. Okay. Um, so, that is this explored. We can go into the Colonial there. We have a marker just up there. So let's go back up top this way and see where that goes. Um, oh. Ah, cool. Ah. So it's just telling me to go to the Colonial. So I probably should have went from there. Evans Trail. Okay, I kind of want to go from that door, though. Cue me porting me through the door. All right, in the underground. Hello. Don't mind me. Sorry, out of order. What's this? Broken elevator notice. Uh, the Grand Colonial Hotel Service Elevator is out of order and will be for the foreseeable future. Please use, please use the stairs to transport all equipment to and from the employee quarters until further notice. Additional liniments uh, will be dispensed for those whose back pain becomes too severe to continue providing the impeccable service our, our hotel is known for. Wow, that's horrible. I myself have had... Something mighty strange went on. What happened? Norville get his cap stuck in the toilet again? <laughs> Not today. I was carrying a bag up to the second VIP guest floor earlier. Even for our guests, it was spectacularly heavy. Wow, exciting. I wasn't finished. I took a bad step and dropped it. You know what spilled out? Rocks. Whoever owned it was just making me carry it around for fun. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so we got uh, we got two notes on the board, and then we got the fabulous Birdie, the Black Hole Holcomb of the Rizzo's Rangers, and it's signed. Ah, I can't take it, huh? Notice of promotion. Congratulations, employee and or addressee. You have been rewarded one free tour of Rizzo's Distillation and Libation Station as a reward for logging at least 10,000 hours of service to the Rizzo's family as you take your first sip of the choice of of your choice of Rizzo Spectrum Vodka remember to take a moment to experience gratitude wow okay and this engineering job posting wow okay uh, the Grand Colonial Hotel is seeking a new volunteer engineer 
Volunteer engineer. Skills needed. Elevator maintenance. Ele electrical engineering. Civil engineering. Computer engineering. Quantum engineering. Knowing when to keep problems to oneself. Wow, that is literally going to be so hard to find. The employee who the employee who accepts this p p position will be accept expected to carry out their existing duties at the hotel for no additional payment. Wow. Talk to your supervisor if interested during your 15-minute break. Of course. And don't forget, with more hours logged each week, the closer you get to winning that free tour. Wow. Oh my goodness. I need to burn this place to the ground. This this whole Halcyon colony is not doing good. Well, maybe you were asleep? Since management started issuing mandatory caffeinoid supplements, I haven't been able to sleep. It's making it hard to tolerate small talk. Wow. Rough stuff. Okay. Get anything good for lunch? Pea-free nut butter and jelly-free jam on premature bread. Tastes like nothing. Looks like you win this round. I couldn't afford lunch, so I caught a sprat lurking around crew quarters. Bony, but uh, it's something. You know those things eat garbage, right? Good point. I'll try that next if I can't catch any more sprats. <laughs> wow. Active employees can't have... Woof. That is rough. Okie doke. Moving on. Wow. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. Uh-huh. Sure. I am a little disappointed. Uh, whoa. What's this? Out of order notice. Out of order. Uh, please excuse our mess. We're working hard to remove all of the valuable treasures our valued guests have misplaced in our pipes. Per usual, the items recovered from the sewage inhaler ooh, uh, will be auctioned off at the start of the month to employees of the Grand Colonial Hotel. No. Note the sanitation materials will be auctioned off as well. Ah, oh, happy hunting. Why is there a space spaceship model in there. Is that a is that a brick? What? Okay. Well, anyways, let's move on, I guess. How do we get over there? Isn't there a hole in the wall somewhere? Where's this go? A few minutes late with uh huh. Ooh, what is this? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't special. Okay. Still, we got stuff. All right. Oh, we got a key card out of it. That's what we got. Nicely done. Okay. Why does this go up? I don't want to go up. Hello, Sullivan. Why, hello there. Goodness, I always enjoy seeing guests, but it's been so long since I've chatted face to face that I about hopped out of my skin at the sight of you. Excuse me, I should introduce myself, though you might know me already, just not by name. I'm Bellhop Sullivan. You've likely heard my dulcet tones through the elevator intercom. I thought I recognized your voice. I knew I would free you. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. I'm glad to meet you, too. Now that our introductions are out of the way, do let me know if I can help you with anything. You said you operate the elevator, right? Can guests not press the buttons themselves? Well, yes, but having an operator certifies that the right guests end up on the proper floors. We wouldn't want toss ball players rubbing shoulders with CEOs. It'd be anarchy. Plus... There's always the risk a guest chips a nail or loses a <laughs> ring on a button. Oh, no. It's an extra effort, but the Grand Colonial prides itself on personalized service in all things. That and the elevator still works if I'm ever not around. I do take occasional breaks and sleep every so often. Oh, okay. So I assume that the bellhops all know each other. Any gossip about Norville? Oh, yes. Norville's great. Always ready to help any and all guests who might need it. And so handsome, too. Ooh. 
His judgment sometimes leaves something to be desired, I will say. Kept badgering Halcyon Helen prior to her death about an autograph or something. A little beyond his station. Uh-huh. Do you know anything about Halcyon Helen's murder? Unfortunately not. I was in the operator room for the elevator, as usual. The camera feed only allows me to see within the elevator, which always has many people coming through. For what it's worth, the murder was a right shame. I always enjoyed the serials starring Ms. Helen, though I did find them prone to repetitive plot structures. But I'm sure you've heard the rumor about what actually did her in. That marauders got into the hotel and management is covering it up so the guests don't run off. Oh, wow, I didn't hear that one yet. Uh, have marauders been a problem in the Grand Colonial before? Well, not necessarily, but they're fairly prevalent on the other complexes. It wouldn't take much for them to find their way here. Slug claims they've got the problem under control, but I don't understand why they haven't simply gone and exterminated all of the marauders like the vermin they are. Oh, well, I'm just here to push buttons. Thanks for your help, Moira. Uh, I mean, Sullivan. Any notes? All right. Well, how do we get up there on that side? I will find the way. I can't oh. imagine what it must be like living down here like sprats in a wall. Yeah, this is pretty horrible. Uh, this is a perfect chance for us to try out our handy dandy. Uh, Gatling Spectrum. <laughs> oh, it's a slow wind up. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't bad. Oh, this is going to be fun. I don't need that. Why did I pick that up? Where does this go? Oh, my. Lots of spr dead sprats around here. Oh. I don't think I'm going to be able to hack that one. No matter what I do. Is there maybe a key? Nope. Ah, oh, that jingle's great. What do we have here? Oh, these boxes are so tantalizing. Yep, that's nice of you to have a shunt there, but... I really don't think I'll have enough, but I'll give it a try. We're 60 of 105. Yep, I can only bring it to 73. Oh, well, maybe next time. Okay, well, let's go this way. Wow, these are horrible quarters. Janitor's private diary that is wide open on a table in the middle of the hallway. Dear diary, my new living quarters are real swell, but I'm having a bit of trouble getting to sleep every night. Management kindly offered to board me up in the hallway while they commandeer my room for Spectrum launch storage. Wow. Uh, since there, since then, I swear I've been seeing things. Uh, now I'm sure it's due to the lack of sleep on account of the darned leaky pipe above my bed, but last night I saw something like a giant worm slither past me. Oh no. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm entirely grateful for all the space I now have, but I have to find a way to get some rest before I go completely mad. Nope, I'm pretty sure that was not a hallucination. Oh my gosh. It's right on the pillow! That's so horrible! <laughs> it's right on the pillow, man! Oh! Wow. Oh, I want that in my... <gasps> what? Oh! That's definitely still the wrong button. That needs to die! Oh, it's still alive! No, don't want to touch you! Why didn't they attack it? Is that not a thing to attack? That's the thing that causes... Oh, no! And this goes right in... Quiet, Captain. What? Thunder clap? Oh, that sounds awesome. Definitely gonna steal all this. Wow! So they shoved all this crap in his room instead of him. Instead of putting him in here. That is what I would expect from a company like this. Nice sign, though, I guess. Whoa. 
removed wall panel. This wall panel has been removed, judging by the scorch marks on the sides and the blowtorch banded on the floor. Its removal does not confirm to company guidelines. Well, I'm glad I examined that. Wow, these quarters are very bad. But at least you guys don't have drips on your pillows. Wow, I can't believe that Parasite was just hanging out in here. Okay. So they're carrying the luggage up? Oh, that's horrible. Whoa. Handwritten note. I have eaten the purple berries which were in the refrigerator uh, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. They were awful. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hmm. Timeline discrepancy detected Whoa. nearby. Is it in here? Oh, I took it off. Cool. What? Oh! Excuse me. Uh, Parvati? Maybe, uh, come out, come out here? Isn't it right there? Or is it up here? Come on! Um, well... Ooh! This collection of frozen food has not been restocked in some time. Many of these items are not available in the Grand Colonial, and must have been brought in from outside. The fridge was transported here from one of the guest bedrooms upstairs. Oh. Interesting. Okay. What about B4? Did it not come after? Eh. <laughs> B4. After. I know I'm horrible. There's a dartboard in here. Barely enough room. I'm stealing these people's things. I feel really bad about that. Okay. We came from this way. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Let's go this way. Hmm. Oh. Champion toss ball stick. I'm not going to steal it. I feel bad already. Wouldn't that be great just to come home and find your stuff missing after working for basically no money? Another panel cut out. And I'm still stealing their stuff. Jeez. Oh! Um... Okay, here we go. Not a lot of room in here, but that's a tough sprat. Okay, wow, that was a serious sprat. Uh, it's been chewing on the bellhops. Uh, did anybody happen to notice these guys missing? There's even a glass window here. Sprat of unusual size. A souse. <laughs> There's a name for it? Are you kidding me? Uh, hotel guest? What's a hotel guest doing down here? What? What is going on here? Dream warrior? Nothing from the amplifier, huh? Just gonna triple check. Is that blueprints? Because that looks a lot like blueprints. Gonna take the stuff just because I think he's dead. Engineer's final note. To whom it may or may not concern, I don't understand why I deserve to be terminated. I was your engineer. I fixed things. Your time clock was malfunctioning. You were logging one hour for every ten that I put in. How is that fair? And yeah, I admit it. 
I wanted to free a free tour to the distillery. I put in my 10,000 hours and I deserve to wet my throat with a little spectrum violet. I didn't know accepting that free tour meant I'd join the Rizzo's family. Uh, you know I can't read fine print ever since uh, the welding accident. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Catch a freighter back to the groundbreaker? Sublight won't pick me up, so I guess that means I'm going to talk to Mr. Ludovico, hat in hand, and beg him to employ me. Sorry, I take that back. I won't have my hat in my hand. I turned that in with the rest of my personals. It was a stupid hat anyways. Mots? Wow. You have to turn in your personals? What? Whoa. Is that that's one of the jets? That's cool. Oh, I want it. That's one of the jets that's keeping this place going. Okay. Well, that's it, guys. That's all the time we have for this part, this video, this video. Video. So, we discovered a lot of horrible things that I'm not surprised at all that Rizzo's does and Slug Sublight. This is the hotel, the Colonial. They do the same crap everyone else does. And they treat their employees like numbers. It's terrible. But anyways, if you guys like the video, slap that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and the rest of this series and other series I have on my channel, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you know when I come out with new content. And with that... I will see you guys in part six of Murder on Eridanos.